the hatred seems to be growing in our communities. And for me, that's a worry, as I believe it's a worry for many people. Will Kentucky lawmakers resurrect the push to let business owners turn away customers for religious reasons? Good evening, everybody. Same-sex couples may be turned away. A measure that passed the Kentucky Senate but then died in the House last year has new life. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us now live from Covington, where an old issue is brand new again. Hi, Joe. Hey, Cammie, you know, Covington City Commission passed a resolution last year denouncing what was then called Senate Bill 180. A few weeks later, Kentucky Speaker of the House let Senate Bill 180 die without coming up for a vote. Now, that House Speaker who did that got voted out in November, and Kentucky Republicans took over control of both Kentucky's House and Kentucky's Senate. So Senate Bill 180, under a new name, is likely to be back, and it has support. Business as usual could change in Kentucky next year. The author of Senate Bill 180 promises he will introduce a new version and says he has the votes to pass it. We've always had the uh, uh, votes to pass the bills before, but, but what had happened, Greg Stumbo and the Democrat leadership absolutely refused to have a hearing on those bills. With Stumbo out of the way, Robinson says soon the hypothetical Christian baker won't have to bake and decorate the hypothetical same-sex wedding cake in Kentucky. If it's against their conscience to put uh, emblems of the homosexuals in it, they should be afforded the right not to have to put it there. New life for the old issue hits hard in Covington, the first Kentucky city to pass a fairness ordinance. Mayor Sherry Karen sponsored a resolution denouncing the old Senate Bill 180. So it doesn't stop with just serving somebody. It, it, it keeps going on and, f and further before you know it, your community um, um, it's not what you thought it was, and it, and it can be a pretty unfriendly community. Carl Fox is an openly gay business owner who moved to Covington in 1990. He says the local fairness ordinance made him feel a part of the community. Now he feels like things are moving backward for him. Specifically, they're speaking about being able to deny me service in their restaurant or their business or to fire me as an employee of their business based on their religious concerns. That's not freedom. That's bigotry. That's discrimination. Now, Senator Robinson says he has not yet drafted a new version of, version of the bill, but will submit it either next year or in the longer General Assembly session coming up in 2018. He says Senate Bill 180 would have easily passed it if it had only been brought up for a vote. It isn't clear if the new version will be a version like the previous one that would supersede the fairness ordinances already affect in eight Kentucky cities, including Covington. Reporting live in Mainstrasse and Covington, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Cammy. Joe, thank you. Fairness ordinances provide added protection from discrimination in housing, employment, and public accommodation. Covington's ordinance covers discrimination based on disabilities, race, gender, age, sexual orientation, and gender identity.